up, my loves? It's your girl, Hippie Chick, and I have a spicy reading for you guys tonight. This person is hot. They're fiending for you. I'm hearing that Chris Brown song, Under the Influence, and he's all like, oh, like, you can just, it's like satiable. Like, you can, like, I don't even know. It's just got, it's crazy. Um, this such a magnetic connection, so strong, so overwhelming, honestly, because, like, in the first part of the song, he's talking about, he's, like, lazy, he's almost, like, disillusioned, like, he isn't even, like, he's in, like, this, like, la-la land wonderland of this, like, mmm, this, like, bomb-ass, like, sex, whatever, like, ever, the whole, but it's not just the sex, it's, like, the whole thing is, like, he's, like, I'm gonna make you tattoo my name on it, like, it's, like, like, let's go fucking get married, like, in Vegas, and, like, j get drunk as fuck, like, like, or whatever, like, it's just, like, <laughs> so fucking hot, right, um, I would play the song, but YouTube will give me a copyright infringement, so, but, yeah, <laughs> Very, very enticing energy here. Very, um, I'm hearing romantic even, like, it's like, the vibe is just like, it's on fire. It's just on fucking fire. Like, you can't even mess with it. Yeah, Seven of Swords. This is a person you've dealt with. Yeah, of course, because they see you as the Empress. Empress, second card out here. Um, look at her, right? She's everything. She's all four queens in one. Like, this is how this person is looking at you. Like, you are you're the end, you're the end all be all, like, you are not only wish fulfillment, but, like, you check off all the boxes, you fill in all the blanks, like, you, like, this person didn't even know that they needed something until, like, you came along and they're, like, if there has been any kind of separation or just the thought of losing you, like, it's, like, oh my god, like, they would never be able to fill that void. They would never be able to replace, it's, like, it's beyond being, like, irreplaceable. It's, like, this whole otherworldly it's otherworldly like they're really <sighs> you're you're so different than anyone this person has ever been with you're so just powerful it's this very powerful energy and you guys chemistry together is just like unparalleled and like that's like I'm having a hard time putting this even into words it's like that wild like straight up um you guys may have had some um I'm feeling like a lot of self-deception here with the seven of swords on both ends where it's like there may have been like um some kind of I'm hearing lying, cheating, stealing. Of course that's what the Seven of Swords is, but like there may have been been some discrepancies and indiscretions in the beginning of the relationship. But like I think this person did lose you at a certain point because they had to ha like feel the loss of you to really come and see you as this Empress, to see you as this like and all be all. I keep hearing that. Um, but it's like this seven of swords coming up in reverse anyway. So you guys are coming out of this energy. Like you're also coming out of this, not disillusionment with like romanticizing the idea of being together, even just sexually, but it's like, you're coming out of these like self-sabotaging behaviors. I'm really getting that with the seven of swords here. And, um, you guys both self-sabotage the relationship in different ways, and neither of you really realize that. So, whatever separation has been going on, even if it's just been, like, a mental checking out of the relationship, um, it caused both of you guys to do some kind of introspection, kind of looking within, okay, what, like, I don't even think it was, like, a conscious, like, I'm gonna go do the shadow work, because... Not many people do that, <laughs> and if you do, that's awesome, but um, it was just like you were, I, there, something happened here where you guys were both forced to, like, like some, it's like you were forced to look within, you were forced to look at yourself, you were forced to actually take accountability, forced to see the error of your ways, and even if it wasn't like lying, cheating, stealing, it was like you guys both like... Because this connection is so strong and it's really undeniable, I think the both of you are like, this shit's too good to be true. There's no fucking way. Like, it's just not, it's not possible. It's not possible, but it is. And, like, this is how you're being viewed. Male or female, it doesn't matter. Empress card is here. Um, yeah, because in the past, um, yeah, this person was acting. I have the nine of cups in reverse and, sorry, it's upside down. 
Um, and the king of Pen yeah, this person was extremely unreliable and potentially very emotionally manipulative with you. Um, the nine of cups in reverse is someone who they can be very selfish, very greedy with their emotions. Um, I'm hearing like my way or the highway. Like it was kind of like, well, if you don't want to do things my way, like just very emotionally manipulative. And I'm hearing emotionally volatile as well. I'm talking a million miles a minute. You make this person very excited. <laughs> Like, very excited. Um, but also with the King of Pentacles in reverse, like, this person may have presented themselves um, in a way that was not really true and authentic to them. And so, whereas, like, they were um, acting or maybe even wanting but were unable to give you this, like, stable, grounded, balanced union, acting as the King of Pentacles, like, he's got his ish together. He has, like, his finances in order. Like, this person may have promised you a lot of things to keep you from running away and buy, like, I'm getting the sense of, like, to stall you out to buy more time until they actually were going to be able to step into a King of Pentacles position. Because they knew they were a King of Pentacles in reverse. Like, they knew that. They knew that they were not, um this person, but that's who they want to be for you, and I feel like that's who they will be for you, because they are very motivated right now, like, they're very motivated, Empress, like, they're not, they're not gonna let you get away, they're not gonna let anyone come near you, or they will cut them, like, whatever, shank, shank, like, <laughs> I love this person's energy, um, they're, they will fight to the death over you, like, let's just be, let's just, this may be a very specific reading, so, if it, doesn't fit, doesn't fit, don't make it fit, but take what resonates, leave the rest, you already know. Um, but yeah, this person, um, they were just, they were, there's a lot of broken promises here. King of Pentacles in reverse. They were promising to be this reliable figure, maybe promising marriage, maybe promising kids, maybe promising to show up for the kids, maybe promising to show up in the relationship, and they weren't doing any of this, which led to a lot of, um, which made you feel deceived. Like, I mean, in reality, they were deceiving you. Seven of Swords is here. It is in reverse in the current position right now, though, which means, like, you guys are... There's no longer this, like, people are trying to act like something they're not. People are trying to, you know, portray themselves in a way so you won't run away, so you won't get away, so you won't get stolen or um, enticed by someone else I'm hearing. But, yeah, this person... Um, they're, they're willing to do whatever it's going to take to keep you, like, wh any, anything, whatever, it doesn't even matter. They're giving up this facade, they're giving up this, like, this show they've been putting on, like, they just, um, they want you, and they, it's like, I'm seeing, I'm getting, like, Archer vibes, like, not the TV show, I love that, though. Um, but, like, uh, like a Sagittarius, like the Archer, right? Um... Sagittarius may be relevant for some of you, but I, I'm just getting the vibe, like, they set their mind to something, they find that target, and, like, they're going after it, and, like, n anyone in getting in the way is gonna get shot, stabbed, blown out, whatever, I don't know, <laughs> I, I'm just talking how I'm hearing, <laughs> but, um, they're gonna get demolished, anyone standing in the way, and this person is not gonna stop until they reach their target, and con conquer this target is what I'm hearing, but, like, not in a... Um, like, manipulative or, like, aggressive way, but, like, they, uh, sexually, yes, but, like, in other terms, it's, no, it, like, they, they're not gonna stop until they get you, um, or get you back, even. I just had the ten of, it's so dark in here, you guys, bear with me. Yeah, ten of pentacles, there was a breakup here. Um, there was, like, a family home... Spirit, clarify this Ten of Pentacles for me, because I feel like maybe another home needed to be broken up for you guys to be able to ground this. Like, maybe they need to detach from certain people. Yeah, Ace of Swords just popped out. Um, maybe truths were, were revealed about this, where this person couldn't lie and hide this situation, this family life. But I feel like, also, too, with the Seven of Swords here, like, you... The, you may have made a lot of assumptions about what was going on, and maybe at one point in time, this, it's like, I'm, I'm getting, like, these, this person had, your person has, like, kids with someone else, or a kid, or they were in a marriage, like, they weren't able to show up 
as the King of Pentacles for you because they were it's they were ending uh closing out a very karmic cycle, very karmic cycle and a very long term cycle because Ten of Pentacles, like I always say, you don't get to the ten overnight. Um, and this was like someone they either lived with, had a family with, or it was just very a very long term situation or maybe both. Um, but truth came out about this and I think like it really clarified and illuminated a lot of things for you to where like you maybe thought because they live together of course you would think they're still together or they're still fucking or th this and that but this person wants to have a new beginning and they want to close out this um karmic cycle like they do and they're going to give you whatever clarity you need and they're finally going to come be honest with you i feel like they know that if they're not like you're the empress bye like you're out like no hard feelings but like you're not gonna you're not gonna stay um and and stay in this, like, cycle of deception, um, mostly on their end, but there definitely was self-sabotaging, I'm getting, like, self-sabotaging self behaviors on your end, um, hold on, wow, um, a bunch of cards just flew out, and I actually stopped the timer at 11.18, which adds up to 11, which is, maybe numbers of significance for you. Look at those angel numbers. Um, this person, like, I'm just like blown away. I got the chariot with the six of swords, the ace. They want this new beginning with you. Ace of wands. Like they're so fired up. Like the song, like they're so like you stir feelings in them, like very much sexually with your chemistry, but very much like across the board that no one ever has. And they want this fast forward movement. They want, I mean, the cherry I'm hearing, it can sometimes represent marriage, but they want this with you. Like they want it quick. Like this person wants to dote on you. Like in both of these cards, the man, and there's no gender, but like just this person is in their masculine energy. They're chasing you, right? You're in empress energy. You're, re you're in receptive energy. Um, but in both of these, the man is doting on the woman. Look, I mean, like they want to do whatever it's going to take. They want this fast forward movement. They want to propel this forward. They want this to continue to progress, to actually like be grounded. Um, because this person is also losing a lot of sleep over you. Nine of swords here. I'm really getting this vibe. And again, like the man doting on the woman, right? Um, the masculine doting on the feminine, let's say. Um, and they, you may get like texts from them or you may like have dreams about them. Um, a lot, and it's because at nighttime, I feel like when they're not working or they don't have other obligations or things that are, um, distracting them, that's when they think about you the most. I mean, not that they're not, I really get that they're thinking about you, like, pretty much constantly, but that's when it really is, like, comes into focus because there's nothing else to distract them. At that point in time, yeah, they want to move into calmer waters with you, Six of Swords here, and again, man, masculine doting on the feminine. Like, they want to put it down on you. I mean, really look at all these pictures here. Like, they want to put it down. This person is, they, they, you are the target. You are the target. They're not going to stop until, um, I just heard the start of the song, I Know You from Sleeping Beauty, which Lana Del Rey actually redid. I love that song, um, and Lana Del Rey, but, um, it's like, I've walked with you once upon a dream. Oh no, that's the song I'm thinking. Um, not, I know you <laughs> Mercury retrograde, but yeah, they're like, I know you, I walked with you once upon a dream, lots of dream. You guys are dreaming about each other. You guys are meeting up in the 5d. Like you totally are. Um, these cards are flying out this whole reading. It's just unreal. I'm also getting a lot of channeled messages, so bear with me. But, um, like, yeah, like, and then in the movie, they're like, that's when she meets her prince, but she's like, but uh, we've met before. Like I, like I, and like they instantly fall in love. Maybe you guys had like a love at first sight thing. Like there's definitely a very massive amount of chemistry here. Like I actually legit just got chills. Like I, I, I like I'm having a hard time and it's not just Mercury retrograde. I'm having a hard time like spitting out my words in this reading. Like this person is so juiced. They're so freaking excited about you. Like it's unreal. Um, let me look at these. 
Can't make it up. Um, 1453, maybe another angel number. Um, yeah, so this person has... They've been hit pretty hard. I don't know if it's necessarily karma or just hit hard with, like, thoughts of you losing you, thoughts of you with another person. Just, um, this person's very, I get this, like, overthinking vibe, or they can kind of get into this overthinking mode, and, like, really, it's hard for them to get out of it, because we had the Nine of Swords, and, like, um, that was definitely their energy. And, um, because I have Judgment and the Emperor in reverse here, so they... Like I said, they've had a lot of realizations about their the error of their ways. Emperor Reverse is like very that is very my way or the highway thinking. Like it's very much so a tyrant, someone who um does it's a very like can be abusive with their power or like has to have control, very like control freak nature, but to uh like a, in such a detrimental way, like um, where they really pushed you away in one way or another, or many, many ways for some of you. Um, but this energy is, I'm feeling like past energy here because, um, and so I feel like you guys either have a kid or kids or are going to have kids. Um, the, this card here, you see how it's them and the baby and their, um, pretty much looking like they're living in heaven, right? That's what this person pictures. This is the future they picture with you. Like, it's like, it's everything they've ever wanted. Um, and so because of this, they know they need to stop being emotionally manipulative, nine of cups that we had before and show up as the king of cups and look how he's doting on his woman again, or really even like protecting her. Like he's very much like, you're mine. I'm proud of you. I am not letting you go anywhere. Um, kind of, definitely kind of possessive this person's energy, but they love the fuck out of you. They love the fuck out of you. They love you so much and they want to move into a more peaceful chapter. They're tired of all the drama. They're tired of all the shenanigans. They're tired of this karmic person that was causing a lot of issues. Um, and I'm hearing that situation has died down quite a bit. Even maybe the other person's psychotic breaks I'm hearing. Um, this karmic that this person was dealing with was really causing turmoil, like just, um, a lot. For some of you, it's multiple karmics. Um, but they were interfering essentially, uh, just to generalize here, but, um, the truth has been illuminated. So whatever this person is actually saying to you about the situation is actually true. And I honestly would probably be the last person to say that. But because when I clarified their um, living situation, family, home, marriage, whatever was going on, and the Ace of Swords came out, like, you know the truth. You know exactly what's going on. You've been given clarity. If not, it will be coming very soon. And this this cycle is closing out because this person does not want to miss their boat, I'm hearing. They don't want to miss having their chance with you, which some of them are feeling like they already have missed it, and that's why they're in this very, it's like a frenzied energy, like very frenzied, like they're not going to miss this. Yeah, lovers in reverse. Um, this person has made their decision in love. So when the lovers, um, obviously this is a very, lots of chemistry, soulmate, twin flame, I don't do labels if you want to, that's cool, but, like, it's a very, very deep connection for many lives, including this one and probably many more, um, but a lot of times the lover's card often can represent the choice between two lovers here, and, um, I'm hearing scorned lover, this other karmic is very, there's probably still quite a bit of jealousy here, they feel like you took their person, and they're looking at things in a very um, emotionally immature perspective, but, um, the lover's card came up in reverse. This person has made their decision. They're not sitting here like, oh, this person's manipulating me, but I really want this person, but I am attached to both women. I do. No, no, no. This person has made a, no turning back on this decision. They have made the decision, period. Like, that is it. Like, 100%. Um, so, wow. <laughs> target. I'm just hearing target, target, target. It's like they're like, they're going for gold here. 
Like they're really, they're not, they're, they are not willing to, if they, if, if they can't have you, like this person may just be like, not ever date anyone again. Like they're like, if I can't make it happen with you, like I literally don't care. I literally am just going to like live like getting so belligerently wasted and high and act like I don't have a care in the world and like do very dangerous things until I end up in jail or whatever because I really literally will not care about life anymore like <laughs> that's what this person feels like they're they're they don't like if they have you like they're done like no like it doesn't matter like no more love no more happiness no more whatever it is literally 11 11 uh, uh like real time as I'm recording this as well. Yeah, Page of Swords. Yeah, this, um, I'm getting that this is the karmics energy. They're still trying to kind of watch you, um, and keep an eye on you, keep an eye on the connection, and, um, uh, they're very jealous. This person is a scorned lover. I feel like this is the type of person that, unless they have some kind of major like, spiritual miracle happen in their life, like, they're probably always going to feel this way, um, but maybe they do evolve and grow and can forgive and, like, move on, um, but I'm getting real immature energy with this person, regardless of their age, and so, um, they are watching you, they're going to continue to watch you, and when you guys reunite, which I'm getting very strongly is going to happen, um, especially sexually, although I don't think you guys are going to be able to reunite and like, okay, bye, like, <laughs> when you guys reunite, like, it's fucking on, it's on, like, fucking Donkey Kong, straight up, yeah, the star, <laughs> you are absolutely their wish fulfillment, I'm also hearing sexual healing, you may heal this person with your sex, you guys may have, like, tantric sex, this person really, they look up to you, this card gives me, like, putting you on a pedestal vibes, and you see even the woman is very nurturing, you give them... A type of love they've never felt before like nothing like it nothing close to it it's just like it's so undeniable and this person may have tried to deny this connection for a long time um but this separation or whatever is going on this fight whatever has happened between you two this person they're done they're they're done being immature they're done like acting like a child and they're done being deceptive like they they realize how much trouble it has caused i just had a bunch more cards fly out so one second so this person is i'm getting this is them in the karmic four of cups here and you even see in the imagery in the card like he's not even paying attention to her and it looks like she's talking or pointing to someone or something else like she's like on a different page like they're not even talking about their relationship like this person is i'm hearing berating this person has always constantly been berating your person about you so much and that's probably why their situation ended because at a certain point i think your person just couldn't take it anymore and they just threw their hands up because your person wants to work with you. They know this. Three of Pentacles here. Like, look how in love they are. Like, look at this. Get out of here. <laughs> um, but they do realize they were acting very unwise before. Hermit in reverse here. They were making foolish decisions. They, um, it's not even like so much about being spiritual, although the hermit often seeks spiritual en enlightenment or enlightenment of some kind or seeks a new perspective. Um, but they realized they were just being a fool. They were really just acting foolish. And without you, they feel very down and out. Five of Pentacles here with the Nine of Wands. They feel like the wounded warrior. They feel like um, their ships are never going to come in. They're never going to be, like I was saying, they're never going to be happy without you. Like, they're just not. Um, and Five of Pentacles is like the struggle card. It's the homeless card. Like, they're, and maybe there is, that's a message for some of you. Like, maybe there was like, a loss of a home between you two, or, I mean, certainly between them and the karmic, or very soon, but I feel like this is already, like, going on, um, but, or I'm hearing Mercury retrograde, so over the next three weeks, um, but, yeah, oh, all my readings are timeless, too, so if you come across this, like, whenever, like, seven months from now, seven years from now, and it resonates for your life, or there's a message for you, then boom, baby, do it, um, I'm feeling called to get some final messages in my favorite deck here. Um, but yeah, this person is head over heels. They're crazy for you. I'm hearing that crazy for you Madonna song now. 
Um, maybe music is very, like, reminds them of you a lot. Um, like, I feel like they drive around a lot or they're, they're, like, in their car or somewhere where they're constantly hearing music and, like, pretty much every song reminds them of you. Like, pretty much. Um, yeah, I'm sensing, and I had peeped the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck in reverse. I feel like right now there's this, like, stagnation. Um, there's not a lot of communication here. Nothing's really moving forward right now, and it's because this person knows and is focused on closing out this other cycle with this karmic person, um, which is going to be wrapped up pretty quickly here. Like, I feel like it's been a long time coming, and they're in the final stages of closing this out, because this person is really, um, understanding, like, how quickly they need to start moving to ground this union before you, like, really do get away. And I feel like if you do get away, like, you're, you're gonna be happy regardless, and this person knows that, and they, they can't accept that. Yeah, the Queen of Wands, they're hot for you, like, they know that you're bad as fuck. You're probably the baddest person this person's ever been with. Like, you... And it's not just, like, your looks. It's just your whole vibe. Like, you may be kind of witchy or into, like, the occult or whatever. If you're not, it doesn't matter. But, um... You're the queen of wands. Like, she's a go-getter. She... You can be an entrepreneur or you can just be, like... Have a very, um... Uh, this confidence, this power, this magnetism about you that's unparalleled. 26, 26 on the clock. So... Look up that angel number, too. I don't know why I'm feeling so drawn to all these angel numbers, but... Um, yeah, justice card just popped out. Yeah, fairness is going to be brought... Fairness and balance is going to be brought to this union. After potentially years, I'm hearing, um, of a lack thereof. Very much so a lack in just treatment. And there really was no balance here. I mean, just, like, none... Spirit, give us a couple more cards. Any advice? Um, I'm feeling like the cycle is going to be closing out here around Mercury Retrograde. Uh, the end of that, which is in the beginning of October. Um, no fucking way. So, yeah, they're coming and they're going to be giving you, instead of showing up as the King of Pentacles in reverse in the beginning of the reading, King of Pentacles in reverse... They are now coming to you as upright. Um, they're going to be this reliable person for you. Be stable. Ground this union. And be all that they can be in the army. <laughs> Anyone? Um, but they... Uh, I don't know why that just came through. But um, <laughs> they they're going to be whoever you need them to be, and they know, they know who, what you're looking for, what type of relationship you want, and they're going to be that for you. They want to be that for you. It's not like they're going to do it and, like, just go through the motions, like, well, they want me to do this, so I'm just going to do it, because that's not, that's never going to last. When you make changes for yourself is when they actually last, and this person, after however old they are, years on this planet, has finally realized I need to make these changes for me. I need to stop being destructive in all these relationships because I'm sure there was a lot of turmoil in the karmic relationship as well. There's turmoil everywhere. Um, and this person has seen the air of their ways. I keep hearing that. Like, someone's guys are, like, screaming at me. Um, but they are going to come correct. I mean, I don't know how I keep doing all these fairy tale readings over here on YouTube. I guess some of them are, some of them aren't, but... That is the message, so that is freaking awesome. Um, I'm feeling like in the next few weeks, so hey, like, congratulations. This is amazing. Um, you do know the truth, so don't doubt whatever is coming in. Don't doubt what this person is saying. I feel like they're finally coming correct, so give... Even though you've probably given this person the benefit of the doubt like a hundred million times and you really don't want to anymore, I feel like they're actually finally being honest, and they're actually going to show up how you want them to, but always trust your intuition, do you, um, I do about three readings a week over on TikTok, if you're on TikTok, come say what's up, hippie chick apothecary, I'd love to see you over there, um, and thank you so much for all my continued love and support over on my YouTube, I love you guys so much, this is where I started, and you guys have, like, such a special place in my heart, I know that sounds so cheesy, but it's so true, um, but anyway, love you guys so much, and... Fucking, you're gonna get fucked so hard. Like, I don't even know what else to say.
Okay, bye.